greetings PC users file here and in this vid I'm gonna try help you solve one of the worst cases of system hanging that I ever had during all my years dealing with PCs so uh, first and foremost, sorry about recording like that. All my recording software is on the PC. I don't have an Elgato or something like that. So everything is on the PC I'm currently demoing from. So I'll have to capture from an external source. Second, I am dealing here with a five-year-old system, five to six-year-old system, we will be covering cases of older motherboards and older CPUs, mainly older AMD CPUs, but if you have a relative understanding of what we're talking about here, you will be able to figure it out for your own hardware. Specifically, I wanted to tell you what I am using so you will have a point of reference. This is an AMD FX 8350, the 8 core model, and my motherboard is a Gigabyte 5, uh, sorry, 990 FXA UD3. It's the 1.5 BIOS revision, that's the final revision that it received back in 2015. So, this is a pretty old rig. It's kind of a Frankenstein's monster that I put together and uh, the PC was crashing and making a deafening buzzing sound. You know what I'm talking about, that's why you're here. I tried everything and I have to help a huge part of the troubleshooting community on YouTube because I followed every single freaking instruction I could find. Software optimization bulk uh, bulkware uninstallation like all the blood where I could find uh, having my drivers up to date checking for any kind of malicious software malware viruses everything reinstalling windows checking my power supply swapping my cables running MEM 95, uh, uh, sorry, Prime 95, MEM 64, everything I could try, I tried. So I was, uh, I started with the assumption that the system was hardware damaged, like something was off. Something uh, had taken a hit throughout the years. And as I said, I put the system together from a big amount of parts given to me by friends and buying off uh, used and so on and so forth and when i was playing games anything that was multi-processing using more than one processor well that's a figure of speech everything uses everything available but when something was intensive on the cpu every time the cpu tried to catch a break it would crash and it would crash bad it would hang i couldn't do anything but hold on the power button, cut off the power, and I was getting a kernel message on the event log. I couldn't even get a blue screen to diagnose it. It just hang, and when I went to the event log, I got a kernel mention saying the power was off unexpectedly and the PC crashed. So I went into the BIOS and I was like, I'm either going to leave this thing like it is and I'm only going to watch movies on it and so on and so forth. Or I'm going to go knee deep in what the hell's happening here and I'm going to solve it. And I did. So this is for all you guys who are in the predicament that I was in like three days ago. So if you will go into BIOS... And you want to be in the menu associated with your frequencies. Okay, we're talking AMD here. We're talking old hardware, legacy devices. It might work on the first way of Ryzen CPUs. All the Ryzen CPUs also share the same characteristics as their older 8 cores from this generation that we're looking at. So if 
you have the first generation Ryzen, you will have something like that available as well. And you want to go to advanced core settings. Now the culprit is here, guys. The culprit is freaking here. And it's one of these, let's say, intuitive functions of your hardware that doesn't work well with current software or has always been a pain in the ass to deal with. And it's this sucker here. It's the core C6 state. Now what it does practically, and I'm no expert by any means, guys. I consider people who are tech experts to be like wizards, like next level understanding of how systems work. But I'm kind of experienced, at least software wise. So from what I gather, C uh, Core C6 state powers down the cores that are not necessary at any given moment. Okay, reduces consumption by powering down cores that are not used. So let's say you're playing a game. I got most of my hits whilst playing Pathologic 2. Okay, the masterpiece from 2019, go buy it, support the, the devs, one of the best games you can play ever. Most of the time, this would occur when I tried to load an area. I would try to open a door, the system would hang. It would hang like, I don't know, a witch in the Middle Ages, guys. Hang dead. And I'd have to power it off. Apparently, from my research, during the GPU intensive tasks of loading and rendering the next room, the CPU would take like a backseat and the cores that were essential for the game to run properly would shut off and the system would go ape shit and crash. So you go to C6 state and you press disable. Zero crashes since. Now this is very obscure because to get here, you have to be in the MIT tab, you have to go to frequencies and then you have to go to advanced frequencies and you have to find it in this list. And it can be troublesome, understandably, but it is the culprit. And uh, all in all, I would suggest you go into your BIOS, no matter what the hell you're using hardware wise and disable all that reduced power consumption bullshit. Guys, hardware these days, okay, it's not very power intensive. It doesn't like, you're not destroying the environment by having your system running on optimal power. You're hurting your system by allowing it to crash a thousand times because something got deactivated because your BIOS didn't know how to deal with it. And when we're talking five or six years old revisions of BIOS like this on 220 software, these things can't communicate. Like the hardware is suboptimal. We're overclocking it. We're tinkering with it. We're trying to optimize it, but it's not made to run on 2020 hardware, this kind of software, and you're not supposed to throw out of the window an 8-core, 4 gigs out of the box CPU that's perfectly servable even today. Like, if you overclock this baby slightly, you can go up to 1.500 when you bench it, which is very dependable. But if you do not know how to utilize it, you're going to grow a tumor. It's very annoying, understandably, trying to make something run that supposedly works well, and then it hangs on you every two hours. So after you tinker with this thingy here, I don't want to be vulgar in this video because 
kids might be watching, you want to do the following. Restart as intended and run uh, OCCP. It is uh, one of the best, let's say, burners you can find out where. It will stress your CPU extremely and have it run for a couple of hours. And then you get a program or a game that used to crash on you a lot and you try to replicate. Like me, for example, I run Pathologic and left it, just left the dude on the street for five hours straight doing nothing. And it never crashed. Then I installed Remnant from the Asses, left my dudette there for another three hours, and it never crashed. I was dealing with this for almost three months. Like anything I was able to, to get uh, from the reduced price of getting a used piece of hardware, I almost had to expand on getting Xanax pills because I was getting so pissed. But it was just this, the core C6 state. After you replicate, and you know that everything is fine, you're good to go. Of course, having your drivers up to date is always good and having zero malware and viruses running in the background is good. Bloatware never helps. Get your software optimized and so on and so forth. Always leave like 10 to 15 gigs of empty space on your disk when running Windows 10, like I am on this system. But this will solve your problem. And in case you were trying to to, to excuse the th whole thing to yourself, saying that I'm running too uh, software, too hardware intensive software, or that I have to reduce the quality I want to be getting out of these processes so it won't crash. When you're running something on suboptimal hardware, it will run slow. It will not cause your PC to sound like it's the reactor in Chernobyl two seconds before the disaster. Okay, that's. Poo -poo. People say these things online all the time, but this is not your problem. Okay. So here we are, guys. Final demonstration. You go into your BIOS and you get to the point where you can see your frequency settings. You go in there and then you go into advanced CPU features and then you find core 668 or however it's stated in your revision for Ryzen it's kind of different you'll have to locate it and shut this sucker down and forget it ever existed your PC will run like a dream if that was your problem because I followed pretty much everything else available like um, I, I even reinstalled my whole rig Everything from the get-go, every uh, single driver, my windows, I flashed, I Q flashed the BIOS and reinstalled it. I was getting to the point where I was thinking that someone threw a rock on the motherboard and damaged the hardware and that's why it wasn't running. So that's it guys, sorry for recording like that from the potato phone here, but it was the only way for me to show it to you. I really wanted to help people who were struggling with this mess. Sub like and share if you liked it. I usually deal with gaming guides, but I sometimes do stuff like this. Until next time, be well, stay frosty, and always try for perfection. Cheers.